Our headlines today. New allegations Downing Street staff are accused of holding more rule-breaking parties on the eve of Prince Philip's funeral. One of Boris Johnson's key backbench allies now says publicly he has no confidence in the Prime Minister. As Prince Andrew loses his military titles, the woman accusing him of sexual assault says her goal is to show the rich and powerful are not above the law. Good morning. Cricket must tackle racism or risk losing public funding. That's one of the main recommendations from a parliamentary report into the crisis into the sport after the powerful testimony from former Yorkshire player Azim Rafiq. We'll speak to him after 7 o'clock. Good morning. A shorter self-isolation period in England. Businesses hope going from seven to five full days will ease staffing pressures. Some companies are also changing their sick pay rules for the unvaccinated. I'll have all the details. Let's have a look at the papers for you. Front page is Daily Mirror leading on reports that Downing Street staff held two parties the night before Prince Philip's funeral, just hours before the Queen mourned alone. The Telegraph also features that story, saying that number 10 Downing Street workers were allegedly drinking alcohol late into the night. The rest of the paper all focus on the news that Duke of York's military titles and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. Thrown out is the Sun's headline. It says the decision to reduce the prince to a private citizen was one of the hardest in the Queen's 70 years on the throne. The Guardian calls it a devastating blow for Prince Andrew. Norman Baker, the royal commentator and former government minister, says the royal family can't escape the immense damage the case he is facing will cause.